My name is Missy McCormick, and I am an Associate Professor of Art and have taught ceramics at Youngstown State University since 2012. Working from a background as a production potter, I naturally gravitate to exploring ideas through series. Making forms and multiples have always granted me the time and focus to see the impact that subtle shifts of line and volume can have on a form. Similarly, how slight changes in value, hue, and texture can impact surface results. The ability to try something more than once, a do-over or second chance of sorts, has always been attractive. My introduction to art was in clay, and it has remained my primary material to express myself artistically. As a ceramist of 30 years, my thoughts begin with three-dimensional form, and surface considerations follow. I create functional forms as my primary form of personal expression. Work that is made to be held in the hand used daily and to reside within domestic spaces and to be interacted with on an intimate level. My creative interest is to convey a contemplative aesthetic, a sense of structure and subtlety that imbues solace. Forms begin as design solutions, like how to arrange specific types of flowers to best show off their individual qualities in common quantities. For me, the surface of a form gives a sense of history to an object. It could start with personal history, like a memory, maybe layered with imperfections or lacking specific clarity. I translate these notions as surface atmosphere. Literal and visual atmosphere has been a constant in my work. I think that is why I was drawn to the firing process of ceramics early on in my education. I am captivated by the unpredictable nature of wood and soda firing, along with its meditative results. These intensive firing methods allow the flame to leave its mark along each form as it makes its way through the kiln. The surface effects on this work is achieved by applying multiple layers of terra sigillata, a traditional fine particled clay material dating back to ancient Greece. Topping the unfired surface with caustic washes creates a variable layered depth that responds differently on each form when fired in the electric kiln. These images cover a shift in direction of my creative research. Stretching the boundaries of functional forms and traditional means of display Forms evolve and transform. Here, the soft curve of the bottom of a bowl has a new life as a wall pillow. The intensive trials that comes with developing an electric-fired ceramic surface with the visual complexities of traditional high-fire ceramic atmospheric firings led me to document the surface results through detailed photographs. Isolating these small areas as individual compositions were visually compelling, but seemingly incomplete. I began to duplicate, flip, orient, and reorient them, independent of their surroundings, to form visual representations which lean toward a more emotional and theoretical perspective on domesticity and daily life. For five years, I had created two bodies of work concurrently, an evolving body of ceramic utilitarian forms and a two-dimensional body of photographic work that has developed from the close-up detail images of my fired ceramic surfaces. These abstracted 2D compositions led to a body of work which holds a similar aesthetic of the original ceramic objects but seem to reveal more conceptual and psychoanalytical truths. Through a macro lens, I have been allowed to re-experience the captured composition, flat and unencumbered by its original form, 
inviting experimentation and discovery, which has ignited this ongoing body of work, challenging me in new ways, both technically and creatively. I relate to the forms in a visceral way, as they are still the physical work that is of this world, and not merely the canvas for an image. Made to serve, dependable companions, sturdy and practical. Dreamboat is a form that is a direct reference from old wooden dough bowls, the kind that lasts through generations, passed down to fulfill its purpose time and time again. The tessellated format relates directly to how traditional domestic tile work so beautifully fit together, constructing well-considered intricate designs. In creating these abstracted compositions, the orientation of each singular image relates to the next, revealing unexpected directional repetitions, patterns, and identifiable shapes that naturally build a personal narrative. The constructed image has a sense of being ephemeral, seemingly fleeting, like a memory, a number of thoughts that fit together to tell a story but which can be taken apart and pieced back together to form a completely new memory altogether. This exploration of the ceramic surface has opened up a visual language and conceptual dialogue taking the work in a related but vastly different and exciting new and unpredictable direction. These two bodies of work are not often exhibited together. Although one is dependent of the other for its existence, each stand on its own. The relationship between the object and image that you see here is not necessary for the viewer to experience the sensibility each work of art has to offer. As this two-dimensional work has become a sort of manifestation of how I internally respond to the world around me, they have evolved into a series of meditative ink blots of sorts. The space that is created in these interrelated mirror images, shapes come into being, recognizable images emerge, compression becomes oppressive, and the feel of stretched space creates tension. Relationship between one image to another, orientation to the grouping is key. Often, there is more than one possibility that makes a complete and relatable composition. Each of these tessellations embody relatable but intimate personal experiences. In these abstractions, the ever-shifting, poignant moments of life visually reveal themselves. From the exhilaration of being overcome with joy to the intense overwhelm of stress, the uncontrollable urge of a mother to protect, to a space within that nurtures not only ourselves, but possibilities of a future. The wide range of visual experiences that have emerged through this body of work were not planned, but are seemingly fitting that they appear without warning. Shapes shift without difficulty and slowly help make sense of daily struggles in an endless pursuit to find life's balance. <laughs>